Hey guys, Patrick Smith from AeroMeterPros.com and today I got something I'm really excited to show you and that's the AeroMeter Pros Pelican Storm case for your DJI Inspire 1. We're really excited because we're able to partner up and create a relationship with Pelican so that we can design and bring you the absolute best case for your Inspire and deliver it to you at the really fantastic price. So let's go ahead and dive into some features and I'll tell you all about it. One thing you'll notice is that it is, it's the Pelican Storm case, so it's the hard plastic. You don't have to worry about it crushing, getting dented and stuff like that while you travel. It has three rubber coated handles that you can carry it with. It also has inline roller wheels right here, inline skate wheels, so it has high quality bearings and a very good hard rubber. So you're not going to worry about breaking those or wearing them out over time. It also has a retractable pull handle right here that comes in and out. So you can pull it, roll it around on the floor, or you can carry it when needed. It's very easy to open with six of these push and pull latches. You just push the button and it comes right out. Something that I like is it is a watertight, airtight seal, and it has this Vortex automatic pressure relief valve. That is very important when you guys are traveling with this or you're going on long, uh, like on an airplane if this is put underneath the aircraft. If you go long distances, these things would get crushed if it didn't have a pressure relief valve. So that's very important to have on the case. So we got the latches open and the lid will come right up like this. Awesome. This is the absolute final revision, the best design that we could come up with. And I'll tell you, it took us a few tries to get it right. We wanted to maximize the space of the case and give you the opportunity to put as many accessories as possible. What we're able to do is we're able to install and travel with seven of the batteries. We have two batteries right here. And if you look below, you can fit the third battery. So we can actually fit three batteries in this section, three batteries in this section, and then we can put the seventh battery over here. Now you don't have to travel with all seven batteries or for you guys who don't have seven batteries, you can simply use that what you need and then use the other spaces for accessories, USB cords, maybe you want to take a GoPro or something with you. So we maximize the space to use as many, to get as many accessories as possible in there. We created this little extra cubby hole right here to put more accessories in. We got the batteries. We have a very large cubby hole right here. This is where I usually put the lanyard or any of the other small accessories, battery charger if you need to, whatever you need. That's a large hole and you can put a lot of stuff in there. Now for iPads, we noticed that some people use iPads, some people use Galaxies. So we created two spots for the iPad mini right here. And then you can also take this divider out and you can put full size iPad or full size Galaxy tablet in there. And then you'll notice there's another hole right here. So you can put another Galaxy device or another iPad device, or you can use it for you know, your charger, charging leads, stuff like that. You can put the charger here, and you can put the charger over here. So there's many different ways that you can configure and lay out your accessories, but at least you have the options to do it. Next, you'll see the radios are completely recessed down into the case. This is to give it maximum protection. We had to decide whether to go sideways, but what we found is if by leaving some of that exposed, switches could get broken off and it just wasn't as secure and safe. So we recessed this all the way down so it's completely protected. Now, in the bottom of it, we were able to carve out another hole that's about this big, and you see in there, and that works perfect for your USB cable and your HDMI cables. So you have those cables for each remote, curl those up, press them down in there, and then you can put the radio right on top of them to secure them. So you have everything for each radio right here in one pouch. Right in the back, you have your prop area, so you can put your spare props. They're easy to get to. And then finally, you'll notice that the Inspire, I went ahead and I recessed it all the way down into the case. Originally, we had it like this, and what we found is that it would press right here, and it would be a tight fit. So if you're traveling and someone were to throw a case on top of it, it's gonna hit that shell immediately. So we didn't want that touching up here. We recessed it all the way down, again, to give it that full and maximum protection. All in all, the case came out amazing. I wanna thank you guys for your patience that pre-ordered these. If you want something like this, contact us right here at the website. You can pick it up here, and you can also reach us by phone or email. Keep an eye out for our combos because we will do a special when you order an Inspire 
and the Pelican case from us at the same time. So check out that combo right here also. Thanks for watching. We hope you like it. We really do. And I'll see you next time. I got this side if it starts to pull.